features of this trailer is it has a hydraulic system, but it's also a suspension system, so it's not solid hydraulics. It's adjustable ride height right here to adjust it to ride to the right height of the vehicle that's towing it. So if you want it lower, you can raise it lower for a car, higher for a higher truck. It's adjustable here for the weight of the bike. So if you have a heavy bike, you can make it the ride accommodate for a heavier or lighter bike. Uh, it's very convenient and very practical. So again, it's just a remote control. You press the remote control. trailer sits flat on the ground so that you're not on, on the suspension, you're not on the vehicle suspension. The bike is held in by the wheel lock so you can just ride the bike on and you can just raise it up. You don't even need the straps until you're ready to tow the vehicle by the, by the truck. You can drop it here also as a manual switch that allows it to go down and back up. All your hydraulics are contained in this lockable compartment. It has a switch in it. You can take this switch out and with this key out, now you can't raise or lower the trailer with either the remote or the manual switch in the up or down position. So if you put the trailer down, if you have your motorcycle locked to the trailer and you take this switch out and you lock this box, now nobody can take the, the trailer and the bike unless they drag it. So it's a little more secure if you just put a lock on the bike and lock it to the trailer. Now you could unhook the vehicle and nobody can really take that unless they want to try to pick it up and carry it. Plus you could lock this out in case you have kids around and you didn't want them to play with this switch and drop it onto their toes or something. When it's in the up position, you just take the lock out of it and it can't go anywhere. So basically, that's it. That's the hydraulic trailer from TRP Corporation. This is the hydraulic compartment. Contains all the hydraulics for the, the system. This is the battery, the hydraulic pump, hydraulic manifold with uh, built-in check valves for safety so that none of the systems can leak down. They're all double check valved. Uh, this is the safety lockout. If you turn this and remove this key, now the, the system cannot be raised or lowered. It cuts all power to everything beyond the battery. So there would be little chance of anything going wrong with that not turned on. This compartment is lockable. So you just turn it here and now it's locked. This is the wheel lock, which locks the bike in place once you ride it up on. So you can literally ride the bike straight on. Since the bike is flat on the ground, you can push it on and it locks itself in place and it will hold the bike with no straps. This is the raise and lower mechanism and the suspension system. These are trailer rated tires. Um, they're a 12 inch tire which the tires are readily available in radials and bias ply. <clears throat> These lights are standard LED trailer quality lights. And this is just a look at the other side. This is the license plate holder and light. Uh, we put it in that position so that uh, it doesn't get all beat up in the back and it stays nice and clean and uh, DOT do, did, does not have a problem with it there. This mechanism on the front allows the trailer to drop flat 
onto the ground so it's not leaning it's not on the truck suspension at all and this is a look from the front of it and if you ever have a flat tire all you need to do is raise this up and you can change your tire without a jack or anything when you're done changing the tire simply raise it back up again and you're ready to travel this is so easy.